Good morning. So I wanted a variety of knives, so I bought this one, which is a little unusual. It has a great handle, an absolute flat grind, which I absolutely love. It's got this little nip here, which I don't like that, but this has a longer blade than, say, the Murphy. Uh, it has about the same blade as the Flex Cut Ripoffs. And seems to be a very well-made knife, and it holds an edge really well. I use this leather with a clip that protects me from the blade. It protects the blade from getting chipped, but it protects me from the blade. Now, this came from England, and it was 850 Great Britain pounds. Uh, by the time I paid with PayPal, 1150 went on my card. That included one pound shipping. I don't know the conversion, but 850 was 1150. Even though it cuts paper, to me, it's a little stiff. So it's sharp. And I've got it so it cuts paper. And all I've ever done to this is drop it. When I got it in, it was about this sharp, but I still, you know, ran it on the straw. Always sharpen it a little. And I do this every time I use it. I'll cut for maybe 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll do this, you know, maybe 20 times, 30 times, 40 times. You can feel it start to get just a tiny bit dull. Even a tiny bit dull, it'll still cut paper. But you want to tune it up. I usually do green compound. You can do green then white, then red. But once I do red, then I've got to do red. If I come back to green, then I've ruined anything I did with white and red and have to go through those again. So I really just stick with green most of the time. If I'm doing a very intricate carving, I'll do green, white, red, and then keep sharpening with red because I want fine detail. I'm not saying I can't get it with just sharpening with green, but it gives me a little better, just a tiny bit better. Just that little bit. Does very well. Very sharp knife, and it holds an edge really well. But you still want to tune your knife about every 15, 20 minutes, maybe a half hour. Uh, I always want to do that. So let's see how it feels. It's a very long blade. Now this is almost in grain here at the end because of the slope I have it on. But how does it do on this? Now this is a very important cut to make with a knife because if the blade is too thick, it will wedge it out and break it rather than cut it. So very important to test a knife doing this. You don't want it chipping out, you want it to cut out. And the thinner the blade, the more likely that is to happen. Now this is a little bit of an oddity in that it has a very narrow back and a flat grind. Just about a perfect knife for carving, in my opinion. Some people don't like the longer blade, they like a smaller blade. I'm perfectly okay with the longer blade. If I need to do something fine, I'll just use the very tip of it. This has turned out to be one of my favorite. The Murphy is a, a little better, and Murphy has a little dip right here. And that fits my hand a little better. And I emphasize a little. Both great knives give you great control because they're a flat grind. Really like a flat grind. To me, you can carve a lot better with these. This is a piece of the wood you get 10 for $13 off Amazon. And I gotta tell you, it's very hardwood. Very hardwood. And yes, I should be wearing a glove, but to be honest with you, I'm just pissing around. I'm not really carving. Uh, very good knife to work with. Very, very good. So, 1150 for a flat grind. It's got a nice handle. I consider that a pretty good deal. It's a little cheaper than the Murphy. So, it's Proops Brothers. P R O O P S Brothers. I'll put a link in the description. A little bit of a different source for knives, but they have some really nice looking products. They have a lot of woodworking products. They got a lot of woodworking tools. And one pound 
to get in here. I didn't think that was bad. I don't know the conversion between British pounds and American dollars, but eleven fifty is still a good price. Two most important things about a knife is how it feels in your hand. If it's not comfortable in your hand, you're not going to use it. Or you're going to get pain from using it, and you're not going to use it. And the other thing is how sharp it will stay. Not how sharp it will get, but how sharp it will stay. Okay, so Proops Brothers. Uh, I don't hear much about them, but it's a good quality knife. It works well. And I carve with this a lot, just so I can feel how it works and be sure that it's a good knife. So, Proofs Brothers, a uh, different knife, not very expensive, supposedly handmade. So, if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.